I'm gonna give you five YouTube live streaming tips that are gonna help you have a better show and they're gonna help you get more views. And we're starting right now. That's just how we do. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Everybody is starting to live stream on YouTube and if you're not, you're really missing out on the opportunity to have a deeper connection with the people that are watching your videos. And real quick, if you're live streaming here on YouTube or if you're live streaming over on Facebook and you have any tips to share, leave them in the comments below. Number one, you wanna create your stream with the replay in mind. Start it just like you would a video. Use any graphics that you would normally use in a video. Use any type of catchphrases or introductory stuff that you would normally do in a video. The reason for that is because typically most of the traffic that you're gonna be getting on your live stream is gonna be coming once you're actually finished with the live stream. So you wanna make the whole thing kinda like it's a video. But of course, cooler and with a deeper connection with the people that are watching. Number two, optimize your metadata, or in other words, optimize your video for search before you start streaming. To do this, you go into your creator studio on YouTube, you go Go to your live stream page. From there, you click on advanced settings and then you click on the basic info tab. It's kind of hidden really, but once you know that it's there, now you can go in and fully optimize your video for search. Number three, if you're doing gaming videos or shout out videos or anything like that, then just go ahead and do whatever it is that you wanna do as the video kind of goes along. However, if you are somebody that is using YouTube for business or you're using YouTube for the sake of training or something like that, what you wanna do is you want to let people know at the beginning of the video that your Q&A set and all that stuff is gonna be towards the end and then you just focus on the actual training content because again, you want this whole thing to be put together just like it's a video. So if you focus on the training first or you focus on that important info first and then you have the Q&A part afterwards, then it's gonna make for a much better show and a much better organized stream that you put together. But of course, throwing like shout outs here and there when you notice people coming in the stream and things like that, you know, just kind of recognizing them quickly instead of getting the whole conversation going. Nothing wrong with that, but just try to get through that part a little bit faster to make your stream as smooth as it can be. Number four, schedule your streams in advance. That way people know that you're gonna be streaming. You're gonna get more viewers if you do this consistently and especially if you can schedule your streams at a similar day and time of the week, then before you know it, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have people that are gonna wanna actually schedule things around when it is that you go live. And as an example, if you wanna join my live stream, I'm live every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. I hope to see you there. Number five, and I have a bonus one after this, you wanna make sure that you have your plan together. You wanna go into your stream with an actual plan. What is it that I'm gonna talk about? What is it that I'm gonna be covering? What is it that I'm gonna be showing people? What is it that I'm gonna be doing in my video? What, 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 what? 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 It doesn't have to be scripted out or anything like that. Yeah, just have a general idea. Put some bullet points together and say, okay, I gotta make sure that I do this. I gotta make sure that I do this. I gotta make sure that I do this. That way you have kind of a flow. You have a system that you work through and you have you know, a general idea of what it is that you're gonna be doing. So when you go live, you're not sitting there trying to think of what it is that you should be doing. Make sense? Cool. Number six. As a bonus tip, keep it simple. If you're just getting into live streaming, you don't have to have all the fancy stuff on the screen. Sure, it might look okay or whatever, and it might be fun for the people that are watching and all of that, but focus on streaming. Focus on getting your show together first first, and then after you have that part together, then start adding all of the extra bonus stuff that you wanna do. If you are far along enough in the process that you do wanna learn how to do that stuff, I made some videos on how to use OBS, which is a free software that you can live stream with, and how to basically make your live streams look professional with OBS. I'll put a link to that right up here. Make sure that you go check that out if you have any interest in live streaming, or if you want to kind of level up your game with live streams as well. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.